Our next inductee to Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame is Nikita Lowry Dawkins, a Detroit native. Nikki Lowry Dawkins was a standout at Ohio State during the 1980s. From 85 to 89, she helped lead the Buckeyes to four NCAA tournament appearances with two Elite Eight appearances and three Big Ten titles. During her senior campaign, Nikki was named Kodak and Street and Smith All-American, Big Ten Player of the Year by the Chicago Tribune, and a unanimous all-conference selection in the Big Ten. Nikki led the Big Ten in scoring both her junior and senior year. In 2000, she was inducted to the Ohio State Athletics Hall of Fame, and in 2002, she was named to the school's all-century team. A two-time All-American, Nikki also was named the second team of the Big Ten All-Decade team. Internationally, Dawkins has enjoyed great success with USA Basketball, both as a coach and a player. In 2002, she was an assistant with the U.S. 20 and under squad that won a gold medal at the Young Women's World Championship in Brazil. As a player, Nikki was a member of two USA Select teams, 1998 or 1988 and 1990, the World University team in 1989, and the Junior National team in 1987. In all, she was a recipient of four gold medals and one silver. After 25 years of coaching, or years of Division I coaching at Michigan, OSU, Detroit Mercy, New Mexico State, Old Dominion. Nikki has coached 15 WNBA players, six Player of the Year recipients, and nine NCAA tournament teams. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming Nikita Lowry Dawkins to the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. This moment reminds me of an Ohio State alum who was an avid duck hunter, and he was in the market for a new dog. After an extensive search, he found a dog that could actually walk on water to retrieve ducks. So he decided to invite a friend of his who is a graduate of that school up north to go hunting. Yeah, he knew he was a pessimist by nature, but he decided to invite him anyway. So they're standing on the shore, ducks fly by, they fire and a duck falls from the sky. The dog jumps up, runs to the water, then walks across the water to retrieve the, the duck not getting more than his paws wet. This goes on all day, and the graduate of that school up north, he watched closely but didn't say a word. Well, it bothered the buckeye, so he said on the ride home, did you notice anything unusual about my duck? And he said, I sure did. Your dog can't even swim. <laughs> Isn't that just like those graduates up north? They can't recognize talent when they see it. Well, as a proud graduate of The Ohio State University, I recognize how special this evening is, and I'm humbled to be a part of it. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for blessing me with the gifts, the talents, and the opportunities that are being recognized today. A special heartfelt thank you goes out to Tuck for the nomination, Doc, and the Hall of Fame Executive Committee uh, for deeming my play on the basketball court and my contributions to the game worthy of this prestigious honor. I'm deeply honored to be selected to the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame, to be placed in such distinguished ranks as the elite group of past honorees is mind-blowing to me. I would also like to congratulate my fellow inductees. I'm thrilled to be going into the hall with such a remarkable class. I stand on the shoulders of a team filled with common people that achieve and help me achieve a common results. This honor may have my name on it, but in truth it belongs to every awesome member of my team, my coaches, my teammates, and the players I was fortunate to coach. I love you and I'm eternally grateful for each and every one of you. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to introduce you to my entire team, but please allow me to introduce you to my starting five and my super subs. My point guard is the 5'9 version of Magic Johnson, my dad, the ultimate leader, great provider, fun to be around, and extremely loyal. As a matter of fact, on September 10th, it would be his 59th year working at Ford Motor Company. If that's not loyalty, I, I don't know what is. My shooting guard was my mom, my Michael Jordan, who's up in heaven right now. She too was in a class all by herself, a beautiful, 
God-fearing, highly intelligent woman who was a counselor in the public school system for over 40 years. This awesome duo produced the rest of my starting five. They had three average boys. <laughs> Grady Jr., Dwayne, and Eric, and one extraordinary girl. <laughs> Seriously. I wouldn't have become the player we're celebrating today without my amazing brothers. Imagine living with Charles Barkley, Dominique Wilkins, and Isaiah Thomas. I, I know, right? I didn't appreciate the files, and yes, they were files. Dwayne, you were the worst. Hey, Joe, let me introduce you to a man that only, the only man on earth that filed out of pickup games. <laughs> but I can honestly say, D, I'm glad you did. You fueled my drive to be the best. Thanks for the tough love. To my super subs, my husband, Tony, and our beautiful twins, Imani and Isaiah, you're a gift to my soul. Thank you. Thank you for believing I'm superwoman. Because you think so highly of me, it inspires me to be great every day. Now, my basketball journey began on what I thought was the worst day of my life. I scored in the wrong basket, just like you, Amber. <laughs> in a church league. They laughed at me what seemed like for hours. I cried. I cried enough tears to fill the Olentangy River three, maybe four times. And when I finally got home, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp were sitting at the kitchen table talking, my mom and dad. And they noticed that I was upset, so they said, hey, hey, what, what's going on? And I, I said, nobody likes me, and I'm terrible at basketball. So my dad looks at my mom as if to say, I've got this one. He said, well, you have two options. Basically, he didn't listen to a word I said. He said, you can continue to be on my side. He said, or you can go out in the backyard and work on your game. And I guarantee you, if you work hard, you'll be doing more smiling than your opponents. My mom, that's right, that's right. So he said, you're going to finish the season. The decision is yours. And they both get up and, and they walk out. And I remember saying to myself, of course, I hope you two don't quit your day jobs and start writing sympathy cards for Hallmark, because they won't sell. <laughs> I know that's right. Needless to say, I was in the backyard every day working on my game. Mom, Dad, you were right. I did more smiling than my opponents. Thank you for making this an unforgettable evening for my team and I. It gives me great pleasure to be a 2023 representative of the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame. God bless you. Good night.